let's see what's about. The art so far is really cool and evocative. So I'm really excited about this. I do like really, even though my wholesome persona um, might not uh, shed light onto it. I actually come from my, my background in fine arts is really dark and like BDS, BDSM style, like Clive Baker meets Tim Burton on a bad day uh, style of uh, artwork. I, I, I do a lot of like alter, really dark stuff in my, in my designs. So this is the kind of stuff I actually uh, used to do kind of this kind of design stuff. All right, choose our sin. So there is greed, pride, and lust. It looks like pride is the only one we can take. Oh, it looks like remote does work. Um, Jaina Ark, the liberator, hero, saint, and Eric, a symbol of faith and virtue, betrayed by her fellow Christians, and damned for eternity in hell. Later, sainthood could not change her faith. A deed was done, her fate decided. So are we playing Joan of Arc? All right, so it looks like we choose a sin. Here on the side here is our starting deck. It looks like your traditional um, deck building roguelike. Uh, you have like mana probably, name, are uh, the type of damage, what kind of thing or action it does. Uh, it looks like there's two different kinds. There's red, which is probably going to be attacking, and then blue, which is probably going to be like control and defense. All right, let's get into it. Let's quit lollygagging. The trial. It's a tough fight, but I still have an ace up my sleeve. Let's choose one card. Oh, why am I playing with this? Probably be better off with the mouse. All right, so we could choose a card. A uh, pretty cool. Visually, it's cool. It looks very much like a power cord and slay the spire. Okay. Let's choose one card. Um, so we're probably going to be using... What is this stuff? Apply to weak. Apply weak. Gain to rage. Why not? I must aim the... The Stella... Of the same color as my card to use it. To use your card, you have to select one of the stones called Stellas. As, as with cards, they come in two versions. Sanctum, Sacrum, and Profane. Profane. Um, you can only play sac Sanctum cards on the Stella and uh, Profane cards on... Okay. So, red on red, uh, blue on blue. So you can play this blue on one of these. And they, it looks like they have also different things. So this is gain two rage. Attack the enemy dealing three damage one time. Base, basic damage 100% of three strength. A character with rust loses one armor for each point of rust after playing a card. Then the rust value will reduce by one. So this is rust three. Uh, I'm gonna say damage? Why is it pointing at me though? These arrows? Um, okay. Oh, that hurt. Each time I play a card, the enemy will react. I must plan my moves to be prepared for the enemy's counterattack. Let's play another card. 
Each time you play a card on the Stella, the enemy will react. Look at the Stella's effect to find out how the enemy will react. Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking. Once the enemy plays its reaction, the Stella will turn around, changing the combat situation. You can peek at the other side of the Stella's by holding the flip button located on the right side. Okay, we could press this button, but we can't do that right now. All right, so let's play another card. So this was caused Rust 3. We already have Rust 3, so that would bring it up to Rust 6. So six turns to remove. Shielded on them. Incoming damage prevents all incoming damage from the next attack, except piercing attacks. And then damage on us for three. I guess we'll take the damage on us. Aha. Okay, and then they attack us, and then it flips it. Oh, interesting. I can always redraw my hand when I'm out of options. When you're using the redraw option, you will discard all of your cards in hand and get a completely new set. But the enemy will use its own redraw reaction. To see what exactly the enemy will do, look at the redraw button tool, tool tip. Down here. No. <laughs> I couldn't find it, apparently. Okay. You just learned the very basics of playing Nadir, Nadar, Deer. Read cards and stell, Stella's um, tool tips to gain more information about the game mechanics. The rest of the fight's up to you. Good luck. All right, let's try. The cards have been dealt. Let's finish it. So I guess slash one. Okay, we flip. So if we play this, it'll turn into a Rust 3. Don't mind Rust. Basic 3 attack. Um, I guess we'll attack. They're going to damage us for 3. They are 10 on 12 and then four, okay. Apply to weak, gain three shields. If we apply to weak on here, decrease the character's strength by weak status value. If during a turn, any damage is resolved. A weak value is decreased. Okay, we'll play. Alright, what is this? Soul shards. Fractured parts of a soul tormented of point tormented to the point of complete denigration. Uh, soul shards can be spent to play a card without triggering any Stella, unlock new skills, or forge the damned. Oh, okay. So we could play this if we don't like the options here, I'm guessing. All right. So we weakened it. Let's go in for the kill. Visually, it's cool. It's, it's probably going to be a little bit mm, a, a moment to learn this. <laughs> claim your reward. It's now it's time to claim your reward. You can choose one of the th three free presented cards presented cards click on the one that you like and confirm your choice with the confirm button if no card suits your deck you can click skip delay counter deal three damage two times gain one shield i like that yeah let's grab exploit Damn. 
Your journey starts. You have entered Nadir, an underworld city of hell. To make your path to the bottom, you will have to fight demons, but you may also find a friendly merchant or place to rest. First encounter, first encounter on each circle has been has to be about it, but afterwards you can choose any of the available events. Okay. Uh, on the circles, you can go deeper. Remember, you can't go back to a higher circle. Oh, okay. So this is like a, a pretty standardized dungeon crawl map for, for like a roguelite in general. God, I feel like this game's really loud. I'm pretty positive it's loud because I hear it in my headphones being loud. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, so fight one of the accursed residents of Nadir. That's our deck management, character management. The artwork's really cool. So this is, seems like it's a... Uh... This is our character build. So this is probably where we evolve our character up. Deck has five card or eleven cards, five blue, five six red. Mm, money is bubbles. There's our soul shards. Let's go, blighted maggot. You can spin soul shards to play a card without triggering any Stella, um, which. You can think of as a free turn to do something under enemy radar, but keep in mind, soul shards can also be spent to character progression. So you have to wage immediate need. You have to wage immediate needs with the long term goals. All right, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get with that. I'm a good with that. Okay, so the numbers. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the numbers on these, I'm guessing it means how many are showing. So we can play anything with one or two red in the mana symbol and anything with one blue in our mana. But if we could get these to flip so it's all three blue, we could then play this or all three red and we can play Master Slash. At least that is my assessment here which feels like it's actually pretty accurate uh guess here it's our discard pile and our draw pile you can't you can't see the discard pile because it's behind me um let's try let's just let's go for a fight let's attack an enemy dealing three damage three times basic okay we will take this doing a bunch of damage and giving you rage. Increase uh, character's strength by rage value. So we brought it up to four. I really like that we can kind of control what that creature's doing by picking the right path. This is actually kind of a cool mechanic. Um, let's do Master Block and give it Shielded. Though we are, if we did that, we are looking at uh, two damage two times. All right, let's do Master Block on Shielded. So what's shield to do again? Shield prevents all incoming damage from the next attack, except piercing. Shield can stack, but each received attack, successful or not, reduces that shield by one. So we don't want master. Yeah. Let's do. So let's do a weak attack. Um. Let's flip this see where it is. I like this, actually. 
Uh, let's do here. It does get its rage up a little bit, but I think that's fine. Oh, we could weaken it. Um, that's actually really good. Because then it doesn't have shield. Let's weaken it by two. It rages by one. We could give it rage, but deal ten to it. So it's okay. It's getting strong, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm actually liking this a lot. It's a. It's an interesting mechanic on how you're making your decisions, which I think is is super neat. Like we could gain, we could gain some rage too. I feel like that's all we have. Apply too weak, gain too rage. Let's apply weak. Oops. We still have two shields. If we flip this, that is a rage one. All right, let's apply too weak on him. It's going to get ragey. We can do six damage, deal three damage two times. So six, gain and gain shielded. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's see what our two mana stuff is. I think we're going to take the three damage. We're going to gain our rage by two. We're going to block that damage. We're down to one shield. We could do eight damage to you. And four damage. There we go. That's neat. It's a it's more like of a puzzle that you're trying to weave in and out. Touch the mic. Um, it's kind of like a puzzle where we're trying to weave around the different avenues to to try to find one that really like it seems like it fits really well. I I like this. I like this mechanic. Gain one shield and stealth. A stealth card will not trigger an enemy reaction written on the Stella. Use to activate the card. I like that. That's neat. Amnesia and burn. Amnesia eliminate the target's highest buff. A card with burn will not will not go to the discard pile after use, thus being unavailable for the rest of the combat. It'll go back to your deck at the end. Okay. Delay two weak gains two weak after a redraw. Remove any panic. I kind of like force field. Force field is nice. It it could we could use it to set things up. Okay, so we have these two choices. Are there two choices where we only get one, and then we go down? I think that's it. I think we need to pick one. Let's do character development. Here you can develop your character by unlocking new skills. The skills will immediately activate after, after, after purchase. They can usually improve your statistics or sometimes provide you with unique cards or the damn or the damn. So I'm guessing we start here. The skill is not available in the prologue. Increase your health by 10. Will by two, armor by ten, domination by one, and strength by two. Let's do strength. Oh, it uses stole shards. We have seven. What's will do? 
Will limits the maximum power of all active. Okay. What's domination? Domination limits the maximum number of active damned. Okay. And I think I want to increase my armor or my health. Let's do armor. I find this really interesting. Oh, we could do both. Okay, so we don't have to select one or the other. We could just do both. Um, ten or Oops. I did not. I just wanted to read it and I clicked. I don't know what it'll do. But hey, <laughs> let's descend. Okay. Let's descend. So we have to fight. You have to fight a creature. Lump of flesh. That is a lump of flesh. All right. 15 damage, but three rust on them. I don't like that. Uh, damage. 10 armor and two protection. Okay, so we can gain a shield and stealth. I think we do that. Oh, right, it's blue. Um, let's flip this. Let's. Take the 15 and the rust, put the rust on them. We have shielded, so that 15 does nothing to us. We could apply wheat. We, we, we still have that shield, so we're okay. Um, let's attack. And take the, uh, take the five damage. Now we could use our gain shielded. And I guess we'll take week two. Let's see what's behind. So that's another 15, six. All right. We can start weakening it. But I, I kind of want the shield. All right, so we get three shield. They put weak on us. That is fine with me. Why did everything flip? Oh, okay. So does it flip one? watching a replay <laughs> so if we play one of two mana or three mana is it flipping that many cards okay i'm still still trying to figure it out don't want them getting armor let's do three damage We'll take a week to actually we'll we'll apply week to them. We'll take the the week to all right. Oh man, we're just like really kind of kind of like screwing each other over here. Attack you. Apply weak. Wow. 
Give me, it hit me for 13, that's fine. Flip those two, so we're all in blue. Unfortunately, I would love to do... Flip all three, because now we have something of somewhat strength here. Uh, we'll take the six damage. Because I, I want to strengthen some stuff up. Oh, here's a problem, though. Okay, they're going to get shield. That's fine. We could deal three damage two times, so that's six damage. This is six damage. But we do get a shielded with the exploit. Let's take the four damage. Two, four, six. Let's take the four damage. There we go. And then I think we just go home and damage an armor. Because we're attacking before anything actually happens. So we could set we we're setting it up pretty well. We got two soul shards, one card, and a hundred a hundred opals. Uh you know what? Exploit's pretty good. Yeah, exploit's pretty good. We have some soul shards. Nothing to spend them on. Let's see what the shop looks like. Finesse looks pretty good. Deal three damage, two times dizzy and stealth. Deal 13 damage, burn and dizzy. Yeah, we'll buy that. Good to see it. I don't think we got hit outside of our armor. So we're we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Deck change. Delete cards from your deck or change the color. Uh, old chest. What can be inside? Oh. Hell how. I like the designs of every, of this. This is a really nice looking game. The the actual mechanics are pretty interesting though, too. I'm curious. So we have 50, 30. Let's exploit. I'm gonna take the eight damage. I wanna see what how this stacks. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 12 breaking. Uh breaking. The effects only apply to armor. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, let's see if the breaking triggers. So we do the attack, we get shielded, they attack us. Alright, so yeah. Um, our stuff triggers before anything they do triggers. So we can stack shields before they actually start attacking us. That's actually really good to know. Three, six, nine. Is it worth giving them two? Or three armor? Maybe. Three, six, and we gain shielded. I came here to do this.
end this. We should have three after this attack. There we go. We're doing it. Two, three, six damage, and we get a shield. Let's do it here. I want to stay away from piercing damage. Because piercing damage will go through our shield here. So let's flip one of these. I think we're going to go for the five armor. And we're just going to do a slash. And we're going to gain two rage, I think. Yeah, let's do two rage. They'll flip these, opening us up to like three. Now we can do a three red, but we don't have any right now. But we do have two sevens. So let's do the breaking. Oh, Master Slash looks really hot. Okay, so we need these blue. We need these two blue. Um... So we give them armor, we go in for the attack. Oh, hello! Deal 18 damage. Uh, yes? I think this just wins us this now. Almost. We'll take some hits. Get ourselves stronger. And I think we go in for four damage multiple times. Bingo, bango, bongo. Not bad. Delay 15. I really like exploit. I think that's really good. I like the, the shielded approach. Here you can reduce the size of your deck, removing cards not suitable for your playstyle. There are two important rules, however. The deck cannot have less than confirmed cards. The difference between Sanctum and Profane um, cards in the deck cannot be larger than confirmed. So our minimum deck size is eight. We can't have anything lower than that. I'm okay with removing a slash because we have too many. Maybe we have too many. I kind of like these exploits. This is only five damage. The exploits are better slashes, so we can probably remove those. Two protection, gain shield, we gain three shielded. Three, six. I'm okay, let's get rid of all those. We've gone plus one blue. One. Grab that. Maximum difference between card types is two. Okay, I feel like this is a pretty good balance. Let's confirm it. And let's see what this unknown is. Choose one of the damned to keep. Frederick Nietzsche. Uh, if there are three Sanctum Seals visible at the end of a turn, deal four damage to the enemy. Every time you spin a Soul Shard during a battle, you gain two shielded. And Maximilian, um, at the start of battle, the enemy gains one profanity. At the start of battle, the enemy gains one something with G. Desecrate. I don't know what 
that means. So we're gonna grab Frederick Nietzsche. And ascend. How far away from whatever this is, boss fight? One, two, two more levels. So far, I like it. I think this is a cute, uh, not cute, um, uh, interesting game. Like, very interesting. Uh, there's a definitely a lot of, like, balance in the mechanics of trying to figure out how to game it and how to approach your your matches. And I really like it because I like puzzles. I like puzzles. And this one feels a lot like a puzzle. Uh, the little being floating by your side is a dam, one of the minstrel inhabitants of Nadar. Nadir. Each dam is unique and has special abilities which after your tactic which alter your tactics. Look for different dams on your way through Nadir to adjust your playstyle. Uh, creates a Repentance card and adds them to your draw pile. They will stay in your deck until the end of time. In end of, end of battle. I'm guessing that just jumps up our board. Our, our hand. Alright, so we gotta go quick. Oh, at the end of my turn. So... Nietzsche might, is not going to go trigger. Um, let's stealth this. Entangle and switch to amnesia. Um, burning. Okay, so... Yeah, let me, let's just go in hard, I guess. I'm not sure what else to do here. We're just gonna take advantage of this. I'm too weak. Oh. Four damage three times. Oh, man. Do we have anything that can shield us? Oh, we do. All right, so we're gonna shield. We'll take the 16 against our shield. We can... Do here, we'll take the six. And get that, that gets blocked. We attack again for five. Nietzsche is gonna trigger, I think. Suffer five damage, ghostly burn. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's that the junk that they're putting in our deck. Um, gain two rage. Okay, we're doing this. It seems like this is the best path. All right, we'll take bleeding. Can I get through our shield? It can. 14 damage. Baby. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, delay 15 armor, deal 5 damage 3 times, add flank to your draw pile. Yeah, let's take that. I like me some cards. Choose your action on the Anvil Assaults. You can investigate each action, but only do one of them. Forge? Ah, uh, let's upgrade. You can elevate your dam to the exalted version if you okay i honestly don't feel like doing that forge here you can forge uh the most powerful damned in the game nope sell yeah we'll sell you 
I don't want you. Bye, Frederick. Uh, I'm okay with our deck right now. I can't. <laughs> um, choose two cards to redraw from your initial hand at the start of a battle. That's pretty cool. Remove the highest debuff after redraw. All right, let's do that. I'm good with this. Elite combat, combat, unknown, character development. Cool. I don't care if we lose. I just want to see the boss. Choose cards to redraw. So, oh, this is like a mulligan. Um, keep the shield. Keep exploit. Send that back. Um, send that back. Burning's good. Breaking, give them shielded. Deal three damage two times, gain shielded. We'll do that. We'll give them a shield. What's breaking do? <laughs> Only applies to armor. Okay. Let's do this. Uh-oh. They have shielded. I don't want to do anything there. Um, let's take the six damage. Out flame. Deal five damage three times. So this would be 10 damage because it'll negate five. Add flank to your draw pile. All right, let's do this. And they're gonna shield. That's just cool. We can shield and deflect one of the attacks. Gain Deal 10, gain one rage. We'll negate one of the things. We'll come in for an attack. Next turn, I think we're going to deal three damage, stealth, and ghostly. We'll do this. We'll block the damage. Do I want to give them shielded? Because I want to get shielded. I want some of that shieldedness. Um, okay, I think we give them shielded. We go up a little bit more on stats here. Okay, we'll take the damage and we go in for some attacks. I think we do eight damage and gain a shield. There we go. Oi, yay. Choose one card. Uh yeah, finesse. We could skip some of that, but mm. character development, increase our will. Increase armor, domination. Maybe will. That was... Oh, we already acquired that. Oh, they have to be connected. Okay, so we'll get Domination. And String. Uh... Grab the bat head. Oh, 
Oh, we could ascend now. Let's see what the elite combat is. Gunnery demon. All right, we don't need rage. We don't need this. Finesse is good. Gives two shields, three bleeding, 16 damage. Um, let's do this one. We'll take, I guess we take three bleeding. There we go. Bleeding doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad. Need to flip some of these cards. All right. Uh, we'll exploit eight damage. We'll take the bleeding. I want this shielded. This gives them shielded, but that's all right. What's panic? Um. We'll take the bleeding again. It's probably not the best path right now, but I think it's going to be fine. We're building up the defense. Uh, will it exploit? Flank. Deal four damage, stealthy, and ghost. All right. Well, we need... We need a blue. <laughs> we don't have... We have all blue. Uh, okay. Let's block that up. 14 damage. Gain... Gain some nonsense here. Heal five damage and revert. Rotates all the Sanctum Profane Seals to show the other side. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's do this. Oh, we're, we're dead. I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. Oh, that that was pretty interesting. Okay, so Nadir is is really interesting. I really like it. Um, I think what it its strongest points is not just visual style, but um, the puzzle that is created when you're trying to navigate what cards to play, what actions the opponent's going to make. Um, I think those are really a really interesting interesting mechanic. It's more of like a back and forth, like a tug of war um, that you kind of you're going to get bonuses to exploit. And I like that a lot. Um, I'm more I kind of like my roguelike deck builders to be more like tactical. And this is very tactical game, but like where you have multiple enemies, multiple option paths and uh, things like that. I would like to see where this game goes in when it's more open and uh, there's more things that you can play. Um, but as the demo, I'm very fascinated with it. I would like to see more of it and look more into what this game's about. I think artistically, it's really cool. It's uh, well done. Uh, sound is really great. Um, a little loud, <laughs> um, but definitely adjustable. And I really like what this game is trying to produce. And the puzzle that the gameplay is putting out for you is super interesting and really, really unique. And I really like where where it's going. Okay, so we're going to switch games right now. 